Hello guys and welcome to the studio. Today on our effect series, we're going to be taking a quick look at the air reverb. That is the actual air reverb that comes bundled with your device. Let's go. Welcome back. Let's load that up and then we'll dive into it right away air reverb right here the air reverb on mpc this is a versatile effect plugin that can be used to you know create a variety of natural and synthetic reverb sounds um it's actually a bit more traditional than the non-linear reverb you know that we discussed earlier in the previous video because it focused more on emulating real world spaces and adding depth and dimension to instruments and vocals like it has a lot more to offer as far as the reverb effect is concerned so let's take a look at all the parameters we have here and now they affect your signals also we'll cover these high and low frequencies starting from here i believe by now you're already acquainted with the pre-delay your time and then your mix this is your decay time and then your mix is a blend of the wet and the dry signal if you need more information on all of this you can still catch up on our link i'll put it here it can help you to follow up exactly on all the other parameters in detail Let's start from your early reflection, right? In the early reflection, we're trying to control the timing and the level of the early reflection, which is the first reflection of the sound in a physical space. So this can basically be used to enhance the realism and the spatial positioning of your signal. So let's talk about this type. Type right here has a lot of presets already, you know, there that you can select and basically just help you to simulate that room that you select each offering a specific reverb character you know like what you get in a stu small studio will be different from the reverb you get in a large studio or if it's a hall or if it's a normal room this type you can use that one to already just pick a preset and then it's, you, it's good to go just for you like that we're talking about the length the tail length helps to control the length of the reverb tail right then we're talking about the early reflections and the tail mix so here you can now choose to mix um, the percentage of the early reflection and the tail mix you also get to hear all this in action in the demo session let's take a look at the reverb talking about reverb parameters the input width and the output width you are basically trying to use those two to shape the particular signals and each of these when you mix them appropriately it can actually give you dynamic sound you know as far as the reverb is concerned and this delay just as it is can also help you to also delay further that output so let's talk about density what your diffusion will do in other effects is what density will do in your air reverb so diffusion basically like we said it blows out that signals and make it smoother the same thing is what density will do as far as the air reverb is concerned so let's quickly jump into the uh, demo now then we'll show you how all these things come to play so the first thing we'll do we bring everything down density to zero ambience to zero we'll keep this in the middle as much as possible i don't know okay fine length zero this to zero the type i'll take it i'll put it to off room size to zero this to zero Mix to zero. Now, this is the original signal. Yep. The first thing I want to do, take it to 100 to hear only the wet signal. You'll be surprised, you're not hearing anything. It is simple. I did not specify any type of room. I'm not simulating any room type. And my tail mix is completely zero this has to go up for me to hear something if i have selected a type of room i want to simulate or emulate this might not really be necessary for me to bring it up let me show you that if i'm simulating i'm in a booth that's the real you get from a booth then i can still choose to increase this to now mix the tail and the early reflection so let me increase the length of the tail to 50 percent i 
and put it on 50 here as well. 50 here. Now you know what this early reflection does and I can choose to change the room type. As you change the room type, you get different effects in terms of reverb to simulate that room. Let me go to small studio. Then I increase the room size. Room size means you are going to get more reverb and it will be a bit more delayed, right? Because the bigger the room, the more time it will take for you to actually hear what is coming back. Let me bring this down to like 50. Let me use 30, no, 40, 40 works. Now, the pre delay, let me put it on. 250 so you can hear it. You are hearing it late now because the mix is on 100%. If I take down the mix to 50 50, you will hear the initial one first. Something like that. Now, let's talk about the width, the input and the output. Observe what happens. When I choose to shrink the input width and then increase the output width. I need to bring the mix back to 100 just so you can hear what is happening to the reverb. Now the output width is smaller. Output width is bigger. So that's basically what this input and output width does. It gives it a completely different feel. Now we're talking about the delay. This is basically separating your reverb delay from the early reflection, which is the first reflection you hear. It's basically splitting the two apart and you can actually hear it. So what you're hearing now is not as if you're hearing the dry and the wet you're basically still hearing the wet, just that the early reflection is now separated greatly from the other reverb. Right? Now let's take a look at the ambience. Let's see what that does for you. Let me take this back to zero. You see? Now, the density. Let me put it on 100. You see that it's almost the same thing as the diffusion. You are no longer hearing that reverb chain. Let me take it back to zero. You hear the reverb chain, about three or four, five. But now, it tries to drop everything at once and smoothen it out. So that's basically what your density does. And you already know what your time does, the decay time. This decay time, you need to be careful with this one because it actually goes to infinity. Now, this means if I hit this guy, it doesn't stop. The, the reverb doesn't stop. Forever. So, be careful when you use your time. You need to you know exactly what you're doing with it. Uh, it's also very useful. There are some movies scoring or some things that this certain to infinity is useful and then you can automate it and then fill it out at a particular time you want it to go out. Yeah, that works pretty awesome. Okay, so if you go to your high and low frequency, right here, you have the liberty to basically manipulate your high frequency and your low frequency that is applied to your reverb. And you can also set the time, that is the delay time, before that particular um, cutoff that you're trying to apply takes effect. So let's, let's try that. That's what you have currently. You hear that way different from you hear that? Let me cut this, cut off the high.
Did you hear that? So basically what I'm trying to do here is adjust the time at which I want this frequency chord to take effect. So maybe a little bit after my reverb has started playing, apply this either the low frequency chord or the high frequency chord, uh, which is the low pass or the high pass, basically just trying to, uh, this will help me to do that. Now that's basically what your high and low frequency you know, can help you to achieve. Basically just help you to thoroughly simulate that sound that you are looking for. Like I will always tell you, there is no uh, standard formula for you must do exactly what someone else does. It is all about the project you're working on. But I believe it's gonna be a lot easier for you if you understand what this parameter does and how you can achieve anything you want to achieve. Instead of you to do a lot of trial and error, you know exactly where you need to go to make what you have in mind happen. And that is what we are about. So that'll be all for now in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and then drop your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.